Hello, welcome to everyone. In this video, this is the part three on the solution of nanometer and application of the question 2021. Today, you want to discuss question number seven and eight. You can see that question paper. Question number one already discussed. This question number two, three, four, five, six already discussed in last two section. Today, you want to cover up this question number seven and question number eight. And the upcoming session will be cover up the question number 9, 10, 11, and 12. So let's start. First question says, What is meant by column bracket? Actually, this question repeated uh, already discussed in 2022, where we, you know that when you reduce the size of nanomaterial, it's higher the band gap because this uh, reduce the size uh, means the uh, potential barrier will be higher v is proportional to 1 by r so the current flow through the quantum dot is the tunneling principle this cannot propagate in the normal conduction this is tunneling effect you know the tunneling effect the barrier is higher than its energy then it can penetrate this is the tunneling effect the quantum act as a conducting island okay when the quantum dot size becomes sufficiently small then a single electron cannot process through the quantum dot actually when you can see this is a uh, quantum dot suppose there is a conducting material and between uh, their path there is a quantum dot like there is a quantum dot produced like that so if you reduce this quantum dot size the band gap is higher uh, and so this reduction of the quantum dot in such a way that a single electron cannot pass through this quantum dot this effect known as the coulomb bracket effect actually in this situation no current flow through this wire okay that's why this is called coulomb bracket next question says so that the potential e by c is required to transfer a single electron across a junction when this junction is formed, the training effect is happening and the potential required, you know the formula that is Q equal to CB. So from this formula, the potential equal to E by C. Very simple. Next is determine the energy of Coulomb barrier for the Iceland 5 nanometer diameter. You know the Coulomb barrier is the potential energy is the 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q Q by D. And what is the value of Q charge is nothing but CB and B is nothing but 1 by 4 pi epsilon E by D. Putting this expression, you will be obtained this expression, put the value given in this mathematics, you are finally obtain 0.518 mega electron volt. This is the Coulomb barrier energy of the Coulomb barrier. Next is the obtain the expression for the density of state for bulk and two dimensional material. For bulk material, you know this is the uh, wave function and corresponding Kx is so energy is related like that. Uh, if you consider a small volume of a single state is nothing but pi by L x, pi by L y, pi by A z, that is pi q by this. So, and the number of state within the cell, if you consider the cell of radius uh, k with thickness d k, so this uh, volume is 4 pi k square d k divided by a single state. So this is the number of state within this cell. And E can be replaced by k, uh, that is k can be replaced by E by this expression you will be obtained this expression and here you need to consider the two spin of single a single electron and there is a eight uh, fold degeneracy you know there is eight coordinate where the total energy is constant but the case values are different so there are eight fold degeneracy so that's why you need to divide it by eight and multiply by two so finally this will be expression and the uh, density of state is nothing but number of state by Uh, energy drain into volume so number of state uh, energy interval means de divided by d and volume means this one so finally we obtain this expression that is for three dimensional uh, density of state which is proportional to root under e e to the power half next is the density of state for two dimensional material for two dimensional materials in the same way we will be get these two expression and this is a free confined or single uh, this single dimension so this k is related like that so if you consider the two dimension that's why we take this uh, radius k with the thickness dk so number of uh, the, the uh, area to occupy a single state is like that so 
the number of state within this shadow area is like that the area by area of a single state so this will be the value and the energy is related to k like that so convert it to energy into k value so the uh, and consider the uh, for degeneracy divided by 4 because there is 4 uh, coordinate with the same energy value but different k value and multiply by 2 due to the spin of this electron so finally obtain this expression so density of state is number of state by this one. so finally obtain this is and which is independent of energy that is a constant value so if you plot this uh, uh, 3d and 2d 3d will be thus uh, this one and for 2d will be the constant value like that so you can see here there is a discrete value and this discrete value makes actually this sub band is a band the band is a band so this uh, nano material which uh, here the two dimensional nano material this nano material produces the energy sub bands okay so that's it for today in the next class we will be discuss the upcoming question also this is all about me this is my contact details and this is my YouTube channel. It is go to the channel, break the different fees, related video, some mathematics. Like this channel, share this video, subscribe this channel, press the bell icon to get notification. So, take care of me to the next video. Thank you.